As the Prince and Princess of Wales embark on a remarkable journey to Scotland for Royal Week, anticipation builds for their attendance at the special ceremony at St. Giles Cathedral. Amidst this grand occasion, did you know that Prince William and Princess Kate hold distinct royal titles in Scotland? Following their marriage in 2011, they were bestowed with the titles Duke and Duchess of Cambridge by the late Queen Elizabeth II. In Scotland, they assumed the prestigious positions of Earl and Countess of Strathen and Baron and Baroness of Carrickfergus. However, with Charles ascending the throne, the couple has embraced their new roles as Prince and Princess of Wales, while also adopting Charles's former Scottish title as the Duke and Duchess of Rothsey. Delving into Scottish History the illustrious title of Duke of Rothsey has a rich heritage dating back to 1398 when David Stuart, son of Robert III of Scotland, first held this esteemed position. During the forthcoming ceremony of Thanksgiving, Prince Charles will be presented with the honors of Scotland, which encompass the nation's crown jewels. Royal Week, also known as Holy Rid Week, holds a special place in the hearts of the monarch and the royal family. Each year, the king traditionally spends a week at the Palace of Holly Rid House in Edinburgh, engaging in various significant events. Exploring Royal Week The vibrant festivities of Royal Week commence with the awe-inspiring ceremony of the keys, held on the palace forecourt, where the king is ceremoniously presented with the keys to the city. This symbolic act showcases the enduring bond between the royal family and Scotland. Furthermore, Charles and Camilla's itinerary includes a visit to the Great Tapestry of Scotland, where they will witness a newly stitched panel dedicated to their union. To commemorate the 25th anniversary of the Royal Yacht Britannia's arrival in Edinburgh, His Majesty will attend a grand reception aboard the iconic vessel. Scotland, a treasured realm. Scotland holds a profound significance for the late Queen Elizabeth II, who cherished summers at Balmoral in Aberdeenshire and Glamis Castle in Angus since her early childhood. Balmoral became a beloved gathering place for the royal family, with grandchildren and great-grandchildren joining in the idyllic surroundings. Princess Eugenie eloquently described Balmoral as the most beautiful place on earth, emphasizing the Queen's immense happiness in the Scottish Highlands. The late monarch's affection for Scotland was evident during her address at the Scottish Parliament's opening ceremony in 2021, where she expressed her deep connection with the country and the fond memories she shared with Prince Philip. Enduring Ties and Memorable Occasions Scotland has witnessed numerous royal celebrations, including the Princess Royal's wedding to Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence at Crathy Kirk in 1992 and the marriage of Anne's daughter, Zara Phillips, to rugby star Mike Tyndall at Canongate Kirk in Edinburgh in 2011. Moreover, the University of St Andrews in Fife holds a special place in Prince William's heart, as it was there that he met his future wife, Kate, sparking a love story that captivated the world. Conclusion as Prince William and Princess Kate immerse themselves in the grandeur and traditions of Scotland during Royal Week, their distinctive titles reflect the rich tapestry of Scottish heritage. With a poignant ceremony at St Giles Cathedral and the prestigious honours of Scotland presentation, this enchanting event strengthens the bond between the royal family and the Scottish people. Scotland's breathtaking landscapes and cherished historical sites hold a special place in the hearts of the royals, shaping their love for the country and its traditions. Let us eagerly await the splendid moments that Royal Week will unveil in this land of ancient beauty and regal significance.